The University of Goroka Enga campus was established at the beginning of this year with an understanding by the University Council and Enga Provincial Government that quality education in teacher training in English and science courses are priority. UOG Enga campus is currently offering bachelor degree programs in English, math, chemistry, biology and physics. After four years of content training, students will complete one year of diploma in education to enable them to teach in secondary schools. So our students also will be able to, to, to compete uh, nationwide and also uh, in the rest of the world. That's uh, the dream. First uh, with the University of Gork and eventually uh, to realize the governor's bigger dream of uh, having his, uh, his own university here. However, for long term, the Enga Provincial Government and the University Council are planning to have students graduate in their degree program and continue to academia or scientific research. We don't have, the, uh, we don't have the, those programs here yet. Now we want our students to really be the best. So our, our staff also will have um, uh, possibilities of training. In those fields. The students will have the opportunity to achieve an honours degree, master's degree or philosophy degree but done overseas before they reach the age of 30. This is to address science problems in the country and in future teachers can teach science, technology, engineering and math or STEM subjects in secondary schools. Peter Ipatas and uh, he's brought the University of Goroka here to help him address this problem. And we certainly will do our very best. We follow the programs of the University of Goroka uh, to maintain standards and quality and really try to see ways forward. Because this is a, a nationwide problem that's uh, been around for some time. And somebody has to take the initiative to address the problem. Dr. Matthew Landu also requested for experts in English and science fields overseas to work with them to pass on their expert knowledge. New Zealand High Commissioner Philip Taula, who visited the campus yesterday, was pleased to see such a focus on education. Vasinata Yama, National MTV News, Mount Hagen.